board talking with us under these trying circumstances. And your husband did not die in vain in this cause and struggle. During the course of his lifetime and his career, did he ever discuss with you the aims of this new organization he founded last year, the Organization for Afro-American Unity? Well, yes. I, I want, in particular, one of the aims was uh, internationalizing the problem of the Afro-American in this country. He felt that as long as in a few states we were begging for cups of coffee or things of this sort, that we would not receive rights uh, all over. Uh, just as the white man is able to go all over the face of the earth and receive the same dignity and respect in one country as he does in the other, uh, the Afro-American or the African, wherever he goes, receive indignation and uh, disrespect. And he felt by internationalizing the problem, by uh, helping the Africans and in turn the African helping us to uh, get our rights that a black man, an Afro-American or an African, could go all over the face of the earth and receive the same dignity, the same respect as any white man. And I think that uh, this uh, was one of the aims, and it was a very good aim. Oh, man, this is a beautiful event, man. Church is packed out. sentimental occasion. Well, it is. It's a very uh, brief uh, sort of um, topic, isn't it, compared to motherhood, which extends outward for great periods. Um, <laughs> no, fatherhood is a very uh, uh, abrupt, uh, aphoristic matter. It's um, just an aside. shouldn't I? Any reason why not? Have you ever taken LSD? No. Um, I've thought about it. Um, I've talked with many people who have taken it. And I have uh, read Finnegan's Wake Aloud uh, at a time when uh, takers of LSD said that is just like LSD. There are civil rights organizations. Certainly. Yeah. Certainly, we will work with any uh, groups, organizations, or leaders in any way, as long as it's genuinely designed to get results. Does your new beard have any religious significance? No, not particularly, but I do think that you find black people uh, in America, as they strive to throw off the shackles of, of uh, mental colonialism, will also probably reflect a, uh, an effort to, show, to, to uh, throw off 
the shackles of uh, culture will... The cool medium involves the whole audience so deeply they find war unbearable. Show the same war on movie, on press photography and so on, people won't feel too badly about it. But on TV, they really feel it. They're involved. I for want to disassociate myself and from the movement to... completely, and I dedicate myself to the organizing of black people into a group that are interested in doing things constructive, not for just one religious segment of the community, but for the entire black community. As soon as we establish our religious authenticity with the Muslim world, we set up the organization of Afro-American unity and, and took immediate steps to make certain that we would be in direct contact with our African brothers on the African continent. So the first step that has been taken, brothers and sisters, since Gavi died, to actually establish contact between the 22 million American, uh, the 22 million black Americans with our brothers and sisters back home was done by two organizations. And you know we've got to unite with them because there are 700 million Muslims. And we sure need to stop being the minority and become part of the brotherhood. I also had to face reality. And when I get back into this American society, I'm not in a society that practices brotherhood. I'm in a society that might preach it on Sunday, but they don't practice it in on no day, on any day. And so since I could see that America itself is a society where there is no brotherhood, and that this society is controlled primarily by racists and segregationists, and it is, uh, and I this met is a them society I was whose government doesn't hesitate advice, to inflict the, the most brutal form of punishment you, and oppression upon dark-skinned people like all over the world. Uh, to whip right now what's going on in, in, uh, near, uh, in and around Saigon and Hanoi and in the Congo and in, and in elsewhere. They are violent when their interests are at stake. But that, oh, with yeah. all of that violence that they display Well, it came the out in theaters across the U.S. and internationally. And uh, that started me off. I realized people got very curious about